In today's video, I try making three maps for my game I'm currently working on without any prior experience, and I even made it look better than real life, so stick around till the end if you'd like to see it all. You probably already heard this somewhere, but as a game developer there's so much to learn, there's coding of course, there's 3D modeling, and so much more. But let me ask you something, what's the first thing you see when you boot up a game? Yeah, it's the map. I mean, unless the game doesn't have a map. And I kinda have no idea how to make maps, so I think it's pretty beneficial for me to fix that. The game I'm currently working on is about robot battles, which kind of makes it futuristic because, you know, we don't have that technology yet. So I decided to just make different unique planets for each map because of... I couldn't think of a better idea. So I started out by making a moon environment, which required me to play with the lighting a lot because looking at the Google images, moon doesn't really have a sky, but then we have a problem. The landscape is just grey, the sky is just black, everything is boring, no one wanted to play this game, okay? Not even me. So I spent some time in Blender and made these space type beat buildings, which I absolutely hated, I hated every second of it because I hate Blender. After giving the buildings color in a program I pirated for, and importing everything into Unreal, the map became way more lively. So at this point I had two types of buildings, you know, this and this, and I know I should fill up space in this area of the map, for example a rocket, because a rocket would probably fit the space theme really well, but I already spent more than enough time on this. I have a school project tomorrow and two exams, which I haven't studied for at all. Now, one map is definitely not enough for this game, so I need another planet, and what do you think I made? Is it maybe Mars? Is it maybe Venus or something? It's Earth. Wow, surprising, I know I'm so original, every game ever totally doesn't have an earth map in it. So most of you probably know how earth looks like unless you're under the age of 3, at which point you don't really know anything or unless you're an alien, but then I don't know how or why you're watching this. But hey, I'm cool with aliens, I respect you guys, don't split the earth in half please. Yeah, so anyway, um, the main reason why I wanted to make an earth map is because I wanted to make a beautiful mountain, because I love mountains. And it's such a shame because in my country the tallest mountain is 300 meters. Yeah, it's not a fucking mountain, my country doesn't have mountains. So making this was way harder than the moon because it requires way more texturing work and I kind of suck at art. But I started out by making an environment in Gaia. And if you don't know what Gaia is, it's just a software where you can make environments. Yeah, that's all it does. Oh, and it's also compatible with Unreal, which makes it really easy. After that, I followed a course in which the course guide taught me how to make an automatic landscape material, meaning the material automatically detects the mountains, its edges and everything, and I just have to put in the textures, which I can also just easily get from Quixel Bridge, which is built into Unreal, and then I can just tweak some parameters like color correction, so it's just really easy for me. And if you think I'll explain how the auto landscape material works, so you can take something valuable away from this video, well, I'll have to disappoint you sadly. The reason is pretty simple, I don't understand it myself. And also, because the video would be a day long. But one thing I do understand is that I can reuse this material for any landscape I ever need, so I'm basically set for life. So after setting up the material for the earth landscape, I slapped on some post-processing, added these small hills, so you can't get sniped from the other side of the map, added these mountains in the distance, which are just really big 3D models, but they make the map look bigger and nicer in every way, so this is the final result, I'm actually really happy with it, but my PC is not happy with it at all, because the recommended GPU for Unreal Engine is RTX 2080 Super, which is almost two times better than the GPU I have, meaning my PC is two times more likely to catch on fire while I'm making my stupid game and is currently struggling to breathe. The last map I wanted to make was like Mars, but with buildings so it's not really like Mars and looks more like an orange desert city. Anyway, as always, I started out in Gaia making the landscape and after that I colored it in Unreal. For the material, I just used a sand texture, but color corrected it so it's orange. But plain landscape is kind of boring, so as I said earlier, I want to add buildings, but I don't really know how to make buildings. So I searched the Epic Games marketplace in hopes of finding some other people have made and actually found something, but it's not full buildings, it's only parts and then you have to build it yourself, like Lego. But luckily there was a demo map, so I just copy pasted every demo assembled building into my Mars map and as you can see it worked pretty well. 
The ground isn't flat, so some parts of the buildings are just in the ground, but hey, that's just a really realistic detail because that also happens in real life when no one lives in a sandy area for a long time anymore. I also added fog, which represents a sandstorm or something, because I want every map to be unique, and I think it's pretty interesting to have this type of setup so you can't see the enemies far in the distance. So after tweaking some post-processing settings, we have this, and I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I wasted two weeks of my life for three maps and I'm slowly realizing I shouldn't have picked game development as a hobby, but hey, at least I can now travel through space but without actually traveling through space, so it's not really like traveling, it's just playing a video game and there's more video games with even more beautiful planets, so I don't even know what point am I making. Anyway, if you enjoyed this, consider subscribing so you can see my future videos when I upload them. Thanks for watching till the end, I genuinely appreciate it a lot.